welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wimba Imani, and today I'm in Mwanza City. I'm downtown. This is like the main shopping area. You'll find a lot of the high rising buildings, markets, different small businesses here, guys. And I've been doing a tour of these various lakeside cities. I'm sure some of you saw my Kisumu series, where in that, that's in, on the other side in Kenya. And now I'm in Mwanza. Now Mwanza is a city in northwestern Tanzania. And Mwanza, of course, is the second largest city in Tanzania. And yeah, the vibe so far, it's been great here in Mwanza. I'm really liking the lakeside cities, guys. And one of the unique features with a lot of these lakeside cities, you'll find many islands as well close by, you know, like even when I was in Kenya, even here in Tanzania, there are other islands and stuff, which you can always visit by boat when you are on the lake. And of course, Tanzania has a large portion of the Lake Victoria in comparison to Kenya. So you get to see more and you get to really tour the, the amazing lake here. Some call it Lake Victoria, some call it Lake Nyanza, and other local indigenous names. So we'll be just doing a city tour of Mwanza today, giving you an idea of what it's like so you'll have an understanding of what you expect to see when you visit here. I've seen other videos of Mwanza, but I haven't seen one that really give a nice detailed tour of the city. So you're getting an exclusive today, guys. Let me show you what's in front of me right now. The time now is around 10.50 a.m. in the morning. And already it's quite hot. You can see I got a bottle of water with me. Um, it's around 27 degrees Celsius. So we expect to even get more hot, hotter than that later on. So let's go, guys, and enjoy Mwanza City. So, one, one thing I've noticed about Mwanza, it's definitely bigger than, let's say, Kisumu. I feel like it's more wide. Um, it has a, a very unique features where you'll see houses um, located near the very big rocks. So that's a unique feature. But in comparison to maybe, say, infrastructural development, Kisumu City may have the edge by just a little bit, I wouldn't say that much, but Mwanza City is definitely bigger. Now in this section here, you will find many of the banks, you know, like NMB, Equity Bank, but um, a lot of the budget hotels are located a little bit just outside the main downtown area if you're looking for a budget hotel. But nevertheless, you do find other upscale hotels here um, for those who are interested. And we're coming up to one right now on the left and it's known as the Golden Crest. Hotel, that's what you're seeing right here. This tall building, that's the Golden Crest Hotel. And I guess this is one of the five-star hotels here in Wanza City. So right next to the Golden Crest Hotel, we have the Vodacom shop, and that's one of the mobile companies here in Tanzania. So if you might need to get internet, you may need a mobile line that you need to set up, then you can find it here. That's the Vodacom shop, and right next to the Gold Crest Hotel. So that's a landmark you could remember if you wanted to find this place.
so far I'm liking Mwanza, man. You know, because it's near the lake, you, although it's hot, you do get a nice lakeside breeze in the city, which makes, makes, it, makes it more cool, you know, when you're here. Really laid back feel though. It's a laid back feel, I must say. But nevertheless, like, everything seems to be, businesses seems to be in close proximity to each other. I think it's quite an easy town to navigate around, which is, which is good. So this was what we're walking on, um, was Jomo Kenyatta Avenue. Now Jomo Kenyatta was of course, the first president of the Republic of Kenya. So yeah, th this is, they got an avenue name after him here. And right now we're, we're near this famous um, fish, a symbol of the, the it's like a fish um, fountain here, water, fish water fountain. And it's famous because, of course, it's the, the fish is symbol of the area here in Mwanza. A lot of people earn a living by doing fishing. So this is what it looks like here on the roundabout, just off the Jomo Kenyatta Avenue. At the roundabout between Station Road and Kenyatta Avenue, the statue of the famous Lake Victoria tilapia fish can be found. It is a meeting point in the center of Mwanza, which can be found easily. The samaki, Swahili for fish, symbolizes the economic activity of fishermen of Mwanza. It is a place where you can take photographs with the tilapia fish. Now, of course, there is a national park nearby, and this sign is saying Sanane Island National Park. It's around 800 meters away, so it's not too far from the downtown area here in Mwanza. So if um, visiting national parks is your thing, then you can definitely check it out. This is Echo Bank here, the Pan-African Bank apparently and they got ATM so if you do have your international card your visa card MasterCard then you have enough ATM that you can use in the city now we're coming up to a very important um, building here not too far from the Jomo Kenyatta Avenue here in downtown Mwanza. And it's the Tanzania Investment Center. Lake zone, of course, we're in the lake zone region. So if you're, of course, interested in investing in the area, then a building like this will be one of the places you will come to get information from. That's the Tanzania Investment Center. So for those who might be interested in, invest in, in investment, then that's a very important biz, um, building to know about, just even for information purposes. This is the commercial bank here, and another building where you'll find different offices here in Mwanza City. Mwanza is a port city on the shore of Lake Victoria in northwestern Tanzania. It is the busiest and second largest city after Dar es Salaam. It is located on Lake Victoria. The fishing industry is an important part of the economy. In Mwanza's town center, there are colonial buildings like the crumbling hilltop Dr. Robert's Couch House, the 1935 Indian Public Library, mosque and Hindu temples reflect the Indian influence and the Makorobi area is full of shops. Mwanza is indeed surrounded by hills strewn with enormous boulders. Despite its rapidly rising skyline, Mwanza manages to retain a casual feel. In addition to being a stop on the way to Robondo Island National Park, Mwanza is a great starting and finishing point to and from safaris through the Serengeti.
So, so far the walk has been great, guys. And one of the things you appreciate, I mean, for me personally, I don't get harassed when I'm doing vlogging here on the streets. And that's a good thing, especially when you're filming and, you know, doing your advertising in the city and stuff like that. That's some things vloggers appreciate. So, Mwanza is definitely a cool vibe. I'm liking it, guys, really. And um, there are various restaurants around. And of course, we're going to go inside, which is one of the main um, attra attractions here. A lot of people come to the city, of course, to see the lake and the Bismarck rock and different things like that. So we're going to see that today. So stay tuned to this video. Watch it till the end. You won't be disappointed. We're checking out the city. You're seeing what it's like. And let me know in the comment section so far because I've done quite a number of um, cities in Tanzania which have been your favorite city in Tanzania and why let me know which is your favorite city in Tanzania and why I'll be interested to know but so far I'm gonna lie once the city it's up there for me it's it, it's 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 in the top five because I'm really liking the how vast it is the peaceful vibe of the people and um, of course the beautiful lake and the wonderful lakeside breeze you, you're seeing here and there's a lot of business opportunities i'm seeing here man you know if you have certain skills computer skills even if you have real estate knowledge and stuff like that mwanza is definitely an interesting place to bring those skills to and even farming i've been walking around and i've, I've seen of course agriculture is in is important to the region so yeah guys this is Mwanza Karibuni Sana Mwanza welcome to Mwanza so this is just like a small bus terminal here you will find the local buses the Dala Dala buses as we say in um, Tanzania Dala Dala in Kenya they call them matatus and these are for the local people local people and they just go into some of the surrounding areas in Mwanza so this is Kaluta Street I'm currently on right now and they got a really nice hotel here guys look at this got a really nice structure it's the Hallman hotel and tours so i guess they do um tours here as well but this is what it looks like this is what the building looks like really nice building structure i like it and they seem to have a, um, a bar and restaurant as well just over there i've been seeing quite a number of them in ones a lot of bars and restaurants so I'm walking towards a section in town, downtown here in Mwanza, where you'll find a lot of um, small businesses, uh, marketplaces, you'll be able to get different furnitures. Like for example, if you look over on your left, there's fridges, there's fans, there's even things for hair salons, speakers. So m most of these things which people need in their homes, on that, that it will use on a day-to-day -day basis, you can find it here in Mwanza on Kaluta Street. It seems a bit more busy in comparison to where we were walking before. Uh, so where we were walking is a bit more upscale in comparison to here. These are one of the tour trucks we're seeing passing by there. Probably going to the national park and the other parts of the lake.
So you can see what I was saying, this side of town is much more busy. A lot of local businesses. Even got people walking around selling tea, fruits and different things like that. So all of that can be found on this street. And like I was saying, if you're looking for the African fabric, you can also find that here. So another thing you know as well, of course, ones that also have had people from the in the India that had migrated to this place long time ago. Some of them, of course, have been living here for quite some time. They've set up businesses here and all of that. And on this street here, you will find some of the Hindu and um, Sikh temples. So you're going to get to see that. This is what we're coming up to right now. This is also a local school here, guys. Rajendra Rupal Nursery School. This is the outside.
really like the cultural feel of Mwanza as well. Like, for example, that woman straight ahead, and even this woman right here, are just walking and they got um, peanuts on their head. And of course, these are for sale and people can stop them and buy some peanuts and stuff like that. Real nice cultural feel, you know? I like that when I visit a city, it adds a, a very unique character and charm to it when I see these things, definitely. This is the Le Chauffe Hotel, one of the local hotels downtown that you'll find here. And right next to it, there's a mosque opposite. So we're deep downtown, guys. Deep downtown in Mwanza City. Two high-rise buildings on this side. got a bank and I guess other apartments and there are also people that live here and some of them be living here for quite some time you know you'll even find a lot of people from the Indian community they live downtown because of course it's close to their places of business usually you'll find that in various uh, cities across Tanzania even Dar es Salaam I know it's for example, in Kisutu and these places, you had a lot of people from India or in uh, Tanzania and Indians that live downtown close to their place of business. So these are all apartments right here. So this is one of the roundabout here and they got a picture of the one of the first presidents of uh, Tanzania, Julius Kambarege Narere. And of course he was from, I believe, Butiama, but it's also uh, a town that's a part of the Mwanza region here as well. So really nice, nice vibe here, guys. It's really nice and sunny. 
peaceful vibe. So I gave you a little dose of the city, gave you a lovely city tour, guys. So this here, guys, is the Rock City Shopping Mall here in Mwanza. Beautiful structure, as you can see. So this is one of the, well, it's the biggest shopping mall in the Mwanza region. So if visiting shopping malls is your thing and you appreciate shopping malls, then yeah, you have it here in Mwanza. So there's a bit of balance, like you can see we were on the market side, but you also have shopping malls here. And of course you will find things like jewelry shops, banks, ATM machines, and other businesses here in the mall. So this is what it looks like outside. And there's also like a play area on this section here for children as well so they can come and play on the swings and different things like that so yeah this is what the mall looks like from the outside and we're gonna go in and have a have a wonder see what's inside yeah so this is what it looks like inside they got elevators they got a lift here this is one coming down here quite spacious but it's a bit quiet today um, but this is what you expect to see when you come inside So if you're coming at the Rock City Mall, you've got enough places to park. This is the parking area at the back of the mall. And they even have um, some, if you've got children, they've got some cars that they can sit in. It's remote control and they could enjoy a ride around here as well. So really nice, guys. This is what you expect to see when you come here. I think later on in the evening times, you will have live band and music at the back here as well. There's like a stage here we're coming up to right now on the left. So yeah, this is what you expect to see when you come here. That's it there. That's the stage. It really gets busy and lively in the evening, guys. You will even have live band here as well. So this is the Rock City Mall. You got to check it out when you visit Mwanza. So literally right in front there, this is the play area. They, they even got a bar and restaurant there. So the children can come and play here. And there's also a swimming pool, guys. So all of this you get to experience right by the Rock City Mall here in Mwanza. So yeah, I'm really liking this, man. They, they really catered their best for everyone there's also swings available i'm even seeing like a water fountain a little bit over there so this is really nice guys mons has been positive so far and the beautiful lakeside breeze really hits you here so although it could be quite humid you do have the wind the breeze kind of like the vibe you will get in the caribbean when you're surrounded by water and you get the sea breeze and stuff like that so really nice vibe here in mwanza Greetings from the lakeside city of Mwanza and here I'm right at the shores of Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is also shared by Kenya and Uganda but Tanzania has a large portion of the lake and it's quite calm at the moment and you can also get a boat cruise, a boat, a boat, you can get a boat ride and that's that boat right there. It costs around 20,000 Tanzanian shillings per person to get on and you, it's over an hour and you can cruise around, see some of the sites even the bismarck rock which is right here famous bismarck rock you can get to climb and get to see that as well so it's really nice here guys i'm loving the atmosphere i'm loving the vibe of the people here in mwanza 
beautiful, beautiful lakeside city. I went to Kisumu recently, another lakeside city, and now I'm in Mwanza. This is the lakeside city on the Tanzanian side. Yeah, so this is this side of town. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, I'm at the Lake Victoria here in Mwanza. And right now you're going to see Bismarck Rock, very unique feature here in Mwanza. It's a rock that I could, could actually stand on its own in a unique position without falling. And it's been like that for quite some time. It's named after General uh, Governor Bismarck, who was from Germany a long time ago, was a, I guess a governor in the region here. But I'm not sure of the local indigenous name. But nevertheless, it's a unique feature to the town, a, a popular tourist attraction. A lot of people come here to take pictures of it. It's a very beautiful, beautiful environment here right now. Beautiful scenery and I'm really loving it. Let me show you what I can see here now. So right in front of us here, this is the Bismarck Rock, as you can see. And I'm watching it there. I'm actually wondering how that heavy rock is just standing on its own in that unique position there and it never falls okay and of course there are other rocks nearby but that is definitely one of the popular feature here in Mwanza and of course people do come here for a swim so it has like some sand here on the shores you can see children young people are enjoying a swim here playing having having fun and um you can also take a cruise on the lake and just see some of the surrounding areas. Now, where my hand is pointing, these are homes over there, houses where people actually live, and they get to have a beautiful view of the lake. Now, there is an entry fee to actually come where I am here on the rocks, where I am here standing. It costs me El Fumoja, which is 1000 Tanzanian shilling so it's definitely quite affordable so yeah this is a vibe you get a lot of school children coming here as well and just enjoying the lake these are some school children down there and this is the view you can see when you come here to Mwanza so yeah definitely check it out guys there's a hotel nearby and in the evening there's live band music happening and you can come and enjoy fresh lakeside food so yeah this is nice a lot of people they earn a living from this lake this is where they'll come and obviously catch fish and different things like that lake victoria definitely had a large portion of it is in the tanzania side and then some of it is in uganda and kenya has uh, i think the least amount of a portion of the lake so yeah this is it guys let me know what you think of the Bismarck Rock and also the lake. 